I'm Derek Johnson with Tatango.com, and I'm answering the question, how do text message donations work? So there's actually two different ways text message donations work. One is through the wireless carrier, so it's added to the mobile phone bill, and one is through a credit card, so the consumer's uh, credit card. So let me explain both different ways and kind of why people use one or the other. The first way is through the mobile phone bill. So this means I would text in something like give to a short code, one, two, three, four, five, and then that charge would be put actually on my mobile phone bill. Pretty cool, huh? So you don't need to get out your credit card or anything like that. Uh, the carriers do take a percentage of that donation. There are requirements for who can do that. You have to be a 501c3. Uh, also, you have to meet a, a bunch of different thresholds uh, for your nonprofit. I mean, it is kind of costly. That's the first option. Pretty uh, smooth, as you can see, because you, know, you just text in and you donate, and it goes on your cell phone bill. The second option is you text in, let's say give again, to 12345. And instead of adding it directly to the mobile phone bill, you actually, in the text message that is received back by the consumer, you tell them to click a link in the text message. So they get out their phone and they click the link in the text message that says, please give. They click it and then they would enter their credit card information in and the amount that they want to donate. There's a few different reasons why people use one or the other. The carrier side is very simple and very easy, but they require a lot of you know, uh, requirements. So you have to be a 501c3. You have to um, meet all these different requirements that the carrier set out. In addition to that, I think they only allow 10 or 5, 10, 15 dollar uh, donations. You, you can't donate hundred dollars or a thousand dollars. The carriers do not allow that. And then one thing that's kind of negative about the carrier side billing is that you're not the one processing the credit card. Um, you know, you're not even processing anything. So you don't get any of the information about the credit card. Um, you don't get to save that information for future. So if they want to make, it, make another donation, you know, but maybe via credit card, that information isn't synced up. So that's why a lot of uh, people nowadays will use the credit card version because when they click it, the link in the text message, then the consumer gets to select, you know, how much they want to donate, five, 10, $10,000, it really doesn't matter, and they can do whatever they want. Plus, the nonprofit usually will control the entire experience. So, you know, during when they're filling out their credit card info, they can ask for an email address. They can save the credit card info, so if they want to come back in the future, they can just log in and, you know, make the, the transaction without typing in their info, info again. So, two different ways of how text message mark, or how text message donations work and that's uh, answering your question, how text message donations work.